Okay. Woo. So winter is finally here. Uh, October. God, it's Baltic. I'm just going to do this wee video to talk about my... i turn the camera around. Riley Gradient. I mean, I just, I love this bike. What a bike. Just got to talk about this one. I'm going to do two videos. This first video about my gravel stroke cross setup. And then next week is my road setup, just to show you how much of a versatile Swiss Army bike this is. The bike itself, you know, the frame, I've had an anodised finish on it, but mucky. The mark got me an anodised finish, which was quite nice him. The gradient detail, it's kind of hexagonal. Uh, top tubes, which are really, really lovely. You know, I've got the, you've got the anodised R there, the Union Jack. I've got this top cap for Flanders, uh, for caps, which I just love, absolutely love. I've also got a Zip Course SL stem. It's got about 140 mil. Thought I'd never think they would. I've got DI2 Ultegra, which is absolutely bomb proof. I've got Panaracer Gravel Kings, the 44 mil tyres on there, which are just they're just fantastic, absolutely fantastic. The reason I got them is because I found when I was doing gravel rides, I was actually faster in my mountain bike than I, than I was in my gravel bike, so I was way faster, lovely weather, eh? it's absolutely fantastic. I was way faster in my mountain bike than my gravel bike, so I thought, well, I did, what's going on here? I feel faster in my gravel bike. So I got the Panaresa 45s, I think the 45s or 44s, and just absolutely, I mean, you can just go through much, much, so much more stuff so much faster. Uh, and especially in days like this, and they grip fine. No, this is a mucky, a mucky. I mean, you look at the, it's a river that, and it's gripping fine. And I'm going through loads of stuff. So, I'll just turn it to the bike, right? So, we've got that. I've got the Hunt Carbon 30 wheels, no design for gravel, but I've put them through cross races, everything bomb proof, really light wheels, love them. Uh, I've got an SLK uh, carbon crank with a 40 mil front. A ring. I've got an 1140 in the back, which is an XTR. But interesting, I've got an Ultegra Di2 short case derailleur, and it fits in no problem at all. Probably just because it's a one times, you can only do a two times with that crazy cassette on the back. But I, I mean, this bike, I've got a Riley Carbon seat post, Riley Carbon uh, a seat. Uh, but I, this bike. This bike, it's just a phenomenal bike. I mean, it's like a, think of more of it, it's not a sports car, it's not your road bike or it's a sports car, you're going to go flying. But I think more of a Range Rover, it's luxurious, titanium, you know, so comfortable to ride. You can take it off road, no bother at all. And then the next minute you could be in the club run. I ride this in the club run in the winters. I've been out in the summer with it, averaging over 20 mile an hour, no problem at all, comfortable. But yeah. It's just an absolute Swiss Army a machine, and it's everybody stops and looks at it. It's a beautiful, beautiful bike, and they're a great Riley's a great, great company to deal with. To be fair, you know, uh, I absolutely love them. Uh, but I, I would definitely recommend to anybody buying a Riley gradient, definitely. So go and buy them if you're thinking about it.